What up everyone, Piazilla57 here playing some Rainbow Six Siege. In this video I show you guys my solo method on how to get the camper trophy which is for successfully completing any defend game mode 100 times. So what you want to do is first is go into the options like I did here and go to matchmaking preferences and you want to turn off everything but the protect hostage for game modes and then for map you want to turn off all maps except for presidential plane and then when it loads in you want to play as mute because you're going to take advantage of his jammers so um, the enemies can't breach behind you and then you're going to want to pick executive bedroom like I like you see here and then when the game starts the first thing you want to do is put three of your four jammers behind you like you see me do so that way they cannot breach um, behind you because if you don't have the jammers here then they will breach behind you and they'll easily kill you and then you want to put your fourth jammer in this little room here Otherwise, they will destroy this wall and come down stairs. So this way, uh, they'll filter in just through this hallway. And I put this deployable shield here just to protect the jammer right behind me. Because if it's not there, it is possible for them to shoot the jammer and then make you vulnerable from behind. So the way Protect Hostage works is there are four waves the first two waves have eight enemies each the third wave has ten enemies and the fourth and final wave has eleven enemies one of them being a suicide bomber so what you want to do is just stay right here and you'll see enemies coming from either straight ahead of you or from the left and you basically just want to shoot them. Uh, if you want to do what I do here, um, you can shoot through this bed and get some penetration kills. Um, so this first wave was actually a little messy because I was trying to go out of my way to get some penetration kills. So they actually uh, got behind me. I lost some health. So after your first wave what I do is I reinforce these first three panels of the wall here because as the enemies shoot at you and miss they'll shoot this wall and if you don't reinforce it by the time the fourth wave starts uh, there will be a hole in the wall from all of the bullets and you can get shot from behind even though you have the jammer there so you just want to protect yourself basically so then yeah you basically just keep doing this for all four waves um, so like I said the first two waves are eight enemies the third wave there are ten enemies and then eleven enemies in the fourth wave so that's a total of 37 enemies that you will kill uh, each round and you need to kill 2500 for one of the trophies so you'll if you do this solo the entire time then you'll easily get the 2500 terrorist kills by the time you finish your 100 defend game modes um, so yeah it goes it I mean it goes by quicker if you play with other people but this way you get more kills by yourself and sometimes it's just easier not having to worry about other people as well so uh, yeah this is the game this is my method on how I did the camper trophy um, it worked really well for me I you will die sometimes but not very often uh, I tend I tended to die more often when I was 
going out of my way to get some of these penetration kills since you kind of leave since your uh, line of sight is kind of hindered so sometimes enemies can get behind you can enter the room and then get behind you and start shooting at you or the hostage but I mean you need to get 200 penetration kills so it's it's kind of worth it you'll you will easily get the penetration kills if you just go for some every single round like you see me do here if you just kind of stand there and shoot through the bed you can easily get some you'll also use if even without trying you'll get some random penetration kills every now and then sometimes you'll kill one terrorist by shooting through another terrorist which that does count as a penetration kill sometimes bullets might go through the wall and yeah you just have to do this 100 times. It's kind of a chore, but I found this to be the easiest way. There were a lot of videos on YouTube for the camper trophy, some of them using Bandit, uh, and trying to slow enemies down in their electric wires. But I felt a lot more vulnerable doing that. So I found this to be the best way because you can... With uh, mute, you can just put the jammers behind you, and then you only have to worry about enemies filtering in through a single hallway, and you can easily pick them off like you see me doing here. Uh, sometimes the enemies will take a while to come, as you can see here. Um, usually if they're taking a while, they'll be coming around from the left side. So if you want to, you can... Uh, go to the door on the left side and try and intercept them and make it go by a little faster if you want so it's up to you also uh, as as you see there's some enemies have these riot shields those are usually the most annoying enemies uh, most of the times that I've died it's because of the enemies with the riot shield. Sometimes there'll be an enemy in the riot shield down that hallway. And then also right in f that came from the left and like right in front of me. So I have two people with riot shields that I'm trying to kill with other enemies shooting at me. And it can really dwindle down your health. So I'm on the very last wave here. The suicide bomber usually will come either will also either come straight ahead of you or from the left um, it's random you can usually pick him off pretty easily when he does come though um, he's e I found that most of the time he either comes fairly early on from straight ahead or he's the last enemy that will come and he'll come from the left but as you can see, he came, he came straight ahead, fairly late on. Um, even if he does, he will rush you if he can get in the room. But he'll usually jump over the deployable shield and try destroying the jammer. But it's pretty easy to take him out, and the mute jammer will also disrupt his suicide bomber, so he can't really detonate on you. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. This was my method that I found to be the best. So please like, subscribe, and comment below. All right. Thanks, guys. Pizilla out.